Good evening, everyone. Susan here. Welcome, welcome to our Tuesday video tutorial. How are you all doing? Uh, hi, Brooke. Brooke's not used to being the first one. <laughs> Neither am I. Hey, I'm, I'm not even late today. Uh, like, wow, this is amazing. I'm usually a minute or two late. Carol's ready. Who else is ready to create? I'm ready. Me, me, pick me. <laughs> Christine is here. Awesome. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Susan Campfield. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. You're joining me either on my C Stampfield YouTube channel, or maybe you're over on Facebook, either in my C Stampfield Facebook group or my Susan Campfield independent demonstrator Facebook page, wherever you are watching. Welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. Uh, Happy Tuesday. It is a gorgeous day. Oh my goodness. Gorgeous day here in Minnesota. Um, it is 66 degrees right now. So couldn't, couldn't be nicer. So Sandy's here uh, down in New York. Okay. Awesome. Kathy, Cindy, Jean. Excellent. Ginny, thanks so much for being here, everyone. So we're going to make a card tonight. Oh, surprise. We're going to make a card. And I'm hoping that you will help me design our card because you guys are so good at that. And it's so much more fun when we design our card together, right? So I'm hoping that you will um, help me out and um, got a few choices, a few things we can choose from. And uh, Lorena is here. Awesome. Bonnie's here. Yay. Everyone is here. Oh, Mary's going to Maui tomorrow. Oh, I'm so jealous. We went to Maui for the Stampin' Up! incentive trip. A year ago in May, and it was fabulous. Oh my gosh, so I saw some memories pop up for that today. So have a great time, Mary. That's awesome. Uh, and Merle's here from North Carolina. Awesome. Thanks for being here. We're going to just dive right in. I'm going to flip the camera to my desktop and clue you in on what's going on. Some of you might be wondering about Crafternoon, my big Crafternoon event. I did the video on Friday. I got a little carried away. Um, I did ask. <clears throat> I had uh, six cards designed and decided to do a seventh because, you know, why would I not do that for this tutorial bundle? Crazy. Um, and so, uh, hey, Polly, thanks for tuning in. Um, so, um, <clears throat> my hope was that I would have all the tutorials done on Sunday completely forgetting that it takes me two days to do, or it takes me a day to do just two tutorials because I take a million pictures. I step it all through. I'm a visual learner. I like seeing all the things. So, and I like them to be really good. So the tutorial, I finished the last one today. I'm in the process of writing the blog post and getting those to that tutorial bundle up in my online store. So very soon should be up tomorrow. Okay, no, I'm not going to say late tonight because they're just going to zip my lip because something crazy will happen and it won't happen. So hi, Susan. Thanks for tuning in. All right. We Susan's got to hang together, right? Hey, Joe from Southern California. That sounds like a nice place to be. All right. So uh, afternoon, the, the, all, the additional card I decided I wanted to make was with our alternate. So most of the cards were in the landscape mode or portrait mode. And then I did one in a vertical mode and I wanted to do another one in the vertical way. And so the people in my Sue Stampfield Facebook group, by the way, you're all invited to join my Sue Stampfield Facebook group. We hang out, we talk about paper crafting. Anyone is welcome. We'd love to have you. Uh, I put up a poll and they voted on which product I should use for that um, other alternate card. And they chose the uh, he's the man designer series paper or sweet uh, with the he's all that bundle. So that was the, what I did the other vertical. Do you guys want to see it? it? Came out really cute. Okay. So, or maybe handsome. I don't know what the word is. It's actually, it's going to be my, um, it's going to be my sister's birthday card. I'm whispering because she's visiting. <laughs> she's downstairs right now. Uh, her son was up this weekend with a friend and now she's here today. So uh, it's just been a little nutty around here, but I'm, uh, we're going to go for a walk when our video is over. So, um, so we got a secret secret. So uh, I'll explain why it's going to be her birthday card in a minute here. I'm going to flip the camera to my desktop. Okay. 
Oh, guess what bundle we're playing with today? I know. I hope you guys aren't tired of this one because I'm not. <laughs> and I want to do a card with it. So I'm excited to share that one with you, which we'll do that in a minute. But let's let's go to let's talk about the crisscross floating message fun fold card, which was a featured fun fold card for craft renewn. I made an additional card. This is the one that I made. For those of you that saw the video, you saw the other cards. If you haven't seen the video, I'll show them to you in just a sec. But this one is the vertical mode. And so this um, this designer paper, it's called um, He's the Man. But my sister, uh, she and her husband recently purchased a camper van and have renovated it and are having a lot of fun going around the country and uh, hanging out in their camper van. So I thought this would be an ideal card for her. So these these uh, this paper isn't just for men. Um, the uh, this hope your day is a grand adventure actually was a, a punch out. Uh, the paper comes with two sheets of die cuts and you just pop them out. They're already pre-printed and how easy is that? And then I cut with the dies and I use the rustic dots. And then the fun part on this card is that when you open it up, let me zoom out a little oh, wrong way, Sue. I zoom out a little bit here. And when you open it up inside, we have a fun pop-up surprise. So we have the van here. Now this one has a surfboard on top. Uh, for my sister's card, I'm actually going to cut the surfboard off. <laughs> Camper vans actually look a lot like um, Amazon Prime delivery vans. So they're actually a little bit higher. I probably will just leave it just regular though. She'll get it. <laughs> and then with our happy birthday message. So isn't that fun? So that uh, will be included in the tutorial bundle with all of the other cards. So we have this one. Now I also did with that same bundle, the He's the Man Um designer paper. This is another one of those die cut punch outs right from that paper. How quick and easy is that? This is the card in landscape mode. So we've got the Chris and the cross panels here. I'm going to close this so I can see comments. There we go. And so this one opens up like this and inside we have holy smokes you're amazing and then the grill. So this is a perfect card for anyone who loves to grill out. Um, likes the occasional beer doesn't have to be a guy but uh, those car colors certainly work for the guys so um so that was one of them i'll just whip through them really quick of course we have our beautiful oh, love this sweet this is the nature's print uh bundle and the fern 3d embossing folder we're going to be playing with those today and the sun prints designer paper and then this one opens up with the messages right inside. Now this one, you can see the little pop-up mechanisms there. Super easy when you've got the step-by-step -step tutorials. So I'll walk you right through photos, everything, make it as easy as I can. Uh, this card is the one that those who people who placed a qualifying order with me in my online store or emailed it to me uh, last month got this packet in the mail and were able to make that card with me on the video. If you would like to be included in the June Crafternoon and get a fun packet in the mail for the June featured uh, featured fun fold project, uh, just place an order in my online store. You don't need a host code. You don't need anything like that. Just make sure you're placing it in my store and you'll be in. Uh, of course, I had to do one in the with the beautiful Hues of Happiness Designer Series paper and the Happiness Abounds bundle. These are some of my favorite products. I love this embossing folder back here. It's called Quatrefoil, and it's a Quatrefoil Tile, actually, I believe is the full name, and it's just super, super cool. So this one opens up like this. So fun. So we've got our fun little pop-up surprise messages. Can you just imagine the joy on someone's face when they get this in the mail? Like, oh, look at this pretty card. And then they open it up and like, oh, wow. It's just, it's a wow. It's a way to wow your family and friends, right? And then, of course, we had to do our sweet little songbirds. This one is in the Tahitian Tide in color. Um, the little bird told me with the notes. So I used the Merry Melody embossing folder just to follow through on that theme. And then inside, we've got a fun little birdie popping up swooping down to say it's your special day so that one is another one in the landscape style we've got another one here 
oh my gosh, do you see why it took me so long to write up all these tutorials? There are a lot of different versions, but that's what this class is all about. I take one fun fold and go to town with it with all these other products. And of course, you can always substitute your own products as well. This one uses the uh, Perfect Posies 3D embossing folder. Is that what it's called? Or maybe it's Posy Party. Oh, oh gosh, I can't remember. So, um, yeah, can't remember the name of this folder, but it's cool. Why do I blank out on this folder? Mm. Okay, anyway, it's a 3D folder, I can tell you that. It has the word posies in it. <laughs> uh, this is the Charming Sentiments Bundle, which I absolutely love, and the Perfectly Penciled Paper. And this one opens up with some more fun on the inside. So those just pop up to greet you. And then the last one, gosh, Susan, we got to get to our card here. Let's move it along. Okay, the last one is another one. This one is in the vertical mode, like that very first one I showed you. So it's just the portrait instead of the landscape. So I took the, the fold, I made different measurements, and that's all in the tutorial step by step on how to make that. And inside we have, of course, our fun greetings. So this one is just so soft and pretty. What a lovely birthday card to receive in the mail or to send to a friend. So that is the crisscross uh, floating message card. This tutorial bundle is $10 for all seven cards, <laughs> uh, tutorial step-by-step, -step, and um, that will be going up very soon. If you want to make sure that you're notified when that goes up, hang on, you want to subscribe to... Um, Susie, go to susdianfield.com, click on subscribe, and then select my blog because when I put up the blog post, you'll get notified there's a new post and that's where the tutorial bundle will be available. You can also, you also have the option to subscribe to my project sheets. Uh, those are free emails that come out <clears throat> usually every week. <laughs> this one's late and uh, with um, some fun uh, project sheets in them. So anyone is welcome to join that and you can do that in the same spot. Okay, I'm gonna take that down in one second, but before I do, um, so the fold that we're playing with tonight, we've done in the past. We did it actually just on Saturday night. Uh, we did it a long time ago with this Hues of Happiness um, card. And I did it in all of the colors. Um, I did it for a swap. So I only have three left. Well, actually, <laughs> I have one that's not done. I still have to do the, the navy flowers. Um, this one, I'm struggling a little bit in how to, what paper I want to put behind. I wouldn't be bad with that one, would it? All right, I will get there though. So that one's coming, stay tuned. Uh, so we did that fold. And of course I also did that one in the Sweet Songbirds. I did want to remind you that there is a really great deal. If you have a long wish list of products right now, you can get the starter kit deal, which is always a great deal. And right now it's even better because it's gonna come with all of the in-color ink pads for free. So. Uh, this is the Orchid Oasis. This is the Tahitian Tide. This is the Starry Sky. This is the Parakeet Party. This is the Sweet Sorbet. So when you order the starter kit, you pick $125 of product that you want, whatever you want that's in the current catalog. And then you also are going to get for free the Tahitian Tide, the Parakeet Party, the Starry Sky, the Sweet Sorbet, and the Orchid Oasis ink pads you're also going to get the designer paper where is it here whoops bump the camera the uh six by six um in color uh designer series paper and you're going to get a sorted pack of the cardstock oh where is it here it is <laughs> so that you've got the cardstock to go with all of those ink pads you just got because you know we are all about matchy matchy right and then you also get let me grab it i finally have it I keep, I haven't even opened it yet. <laughs> you get this, uh, this kind of an exclusive thing. You can't buy this unless you're a demonstrator or if you get it in the starter kit. You get some paper to protect your work surface. And it's not just to protect your work surface. It also has a grid on it. So let me show you what that looks like. It comes in the in colors and it's got the grids on here with the inches so you can measure out, uh, make sure your piece is straight by laying it right in the, the grid. And it comes, of course, in all of the in colors. So it just makes your desk a little bit happier place. So that's all part of the starter kit deal. 
that deal is only going for another week. Um, it ends at the end of May. So I wanted to make sure I mentioned that. All right. So on Saturday night, let's make a card, guys. On Saturday night, we made this gorgeous card. And I wanted to um, I wanted to try it out. So this was the Sun Prince paper and the Nature's Prince bundle. And you guys had the brilliant idea of embossing this in white, which came out just beautiful. Um, but I wanted to do this same card in the blue paper <laughs> because I love the blue. So we're going to give it a try. Um, we might have to do some die cutting because we'll see what bits and pieces I've got floating around on my desk because there's a fair amount. <laughs> We might not have to do as much die cutting as I think. All right, we'll see what we come up with. Okay, so these are the papers that we're going to use. This one is actually a large sheet that comes rabbits. I've got one out here. So this is the Sun Prince paper. Most of the patterns are, you know, kind of an all over pattern, but this particular one uh, is kind of up one side. And then the other side is a little more plain. So it's it's perfect for scrapbooking. But for card making, um, I cut some of the pattern parts. And then I cut one of the plain parts too. And my thought is that we're going to try embossing this. I'm not sure how it's going to work, but we're going to find out. So I'm going to bring in my die cutting machine here. I'm going to make this go away. There we go. Oh, Peggy's fussy cutting butterflies. Good luck with that, Peggy. All right, so let's grab our... Um, to make sure I didn't miss any painted posies. Ah, thank you, Jean. Why can I not... For, why can't I remember that name? All right, so I want to emboss my paper. And you might have noticed I just flipped my folder over. The reason I did that is, you know, my paper has two different sides. I want the darker side. And the folder, let me move this back so you can see maybe a little bit better. Here we go. I just have to maybe move this forward. All right, we'll get it one way or the other, right? All right. So um, if I have the folder turned this way, it's going to deboss. If I have it with the Stampin' Up! logo right side up, it's going to be embossed, which is raised. And that's what I want. Now, what I was wondering is, I don't know if the, this is a 3D folder, so it might actually break through the paper and might have a little bit of white from the inner core. I don't know. Well, we're going to find out. I think it'd be fine either way. We'll find that out too, right? And clunk. There we go. We are through. All right. I'm going to set this aside. We might need to die cut some stuff here in a bit. But let's see. Oh, how do you think it came out? I'm so excited. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> Ready for the big reveal? Ta-da! Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. So um, a tiny bit of white is showing through. I don't know. I probably should zoom it up. Can you see a little bit of that white core showing through, which I really like? So it's almost like distressed now because of that little bit of white coming through. It's going to look great with our other part that has already has the white printing on it. So really makes that folder come to life um, with the, I'm trying to move this light over a little bit. I hope you can see that. It's really cool. <laughs> so yay, I like it too. Shirley and I like it. Yay. Yeah, yes. All right. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and our card but I need your help so should our card have a knight of navy base or a basic white base let's lay it on there and you can I give you a little bit more of an informed choice let me know if you want white or navy so white is going to look something like this very nice and navy is going to look like this so let me know if you would prefer the white or the navy for our card base 
show you again here. This is what it looks like on navy. Oh, I just love that embossed paper. Because it's the lighter weight paper, it really shows the pattern a lot. Plus it has that little bit of white core coming through and it really is a wow. So this is the, what it looks like on the white. So do you think we should go with the navy or the white? Uh, the white has it. Uh, navy did get one vote and I do think navy would be nice it depends on what you were using it for but i i think i like the really crisp look of a navy and white so i think this will look nice and we'll find out right <laughs> all right so let's score our paper we're gonna do the exact same fold that we've been doing on this card and all of these cards and on these cards it's all the same fold by the way the project sheet email is going out don't worry it's coming and I am going to resend this project sheet. It came out last week, but there was a uh, typo in the measurements. So I'm sending out a corrected version. And I figured as long as I'm sending it out, I will add photos of all the other colors of flowers in that tutorial so that you you can see what those look like. So um, to do our fold here, this fun fold, we're going to score this at four and a quarter. My paper is five and a half by eight and a half, and I'm off camera. <laughs> there we go. Um, and I'm going to score this at uh, four and a quarter, so in half. And then I'm going to score it at one and a quarter. All right, so there we have our scored piece of cardstock. I'm going to put the, that away now. And I have no idea what this card is going to look like when it's done. So it will be exciting. I mean, you know, I kind of know, but I, I don't know how we're going to decorate it yet. So, all right, I'm going to crease that. So I creased it on the halfway mark. And then on this score, I folded it backwards, kind of an accordion type of pleat. So there is our fun fold card. And we're actually going to adhere this bigger piece behind. This piece measures two inches by five and a quarter. Um, not all of it's going to show. You actually, if you were really a paper saver, you could probably get away with mm, could kind of get away with one and a half, but that would be really tight. Um, you would maybe see a little bit of white space on the side. I didn't want any because this is going to be raised up. I wanted it to go a little bit farther. So that's why I made it two by five and a quarter. And then under all this stuff, I have my adhesive. <laughs> Never a clean desk. Never going to happen. Because as soon as I clean it, I mess it right back up again. <laughs> all right, there we go. So so pretty all right yeah the navy background on this designer paper really makes that uh bossing pop so i've got that adhered down now i want to adhere my flap down um, i can put my paper on it either before or after let's sure why not let's go ahead and put it on here um i'm gonna go ahead and put my adhesive on my back side of that paper which is also a really pretty ombre and that's going to be on that center panel would prefer it if i got it somewhat straight come on okay there we go all right now i'm going to put some um, adhesive back here to tack it down i want a pretty strong adhesive because um and i want it to be popped up a little bit it gives it a nice shadow effect so once again i'm going to use the edges to my dimensionals uh, let me grab some scissors out of my drawer here so i'm just going to snip it here and i'm going to snip it at the other end and then i'm just going to pull off this extra extra bit of edge that's just kind of bonus. It's not included in the 300 uh, dimensional count that comes on the package or is mentioned in the catalog. It's, it's a freebie, <laughs> but I'm going to do that whole long thing because I did try it originally with just two dimensionals and it didn't hold. So 
Uh, I've had no trouble with the whole strip holding. It holds really well. Oh, you guys, it's so pretty so far. All right, now we're going to add our other paper here. And I'm going to go ahead and add some adhesive to that. And that is actually going to go on the inside of the card. But the cool part about this fold is it's going to show when the card is closed. Two. So there we have, oh, it's so pretty. How easy was that? Like, I don't even think we need to do a whole lot of decorating here. I <clears throat> have a number of labels floating around on my desk from this set. I'm going to add one to our card here that says, You're on my mind. And this is stamped in Night of Navy ink. And I've used the, uh, the dies that come with the Nature's Print stamp set as a bundle. They're called the Natural Print Dies. And we're going to put this on here. Oh, I don't know where to put it. Because, like, I don't want to cover anything up. <laughs> I might put it way down kind of at the bottom. Would that be weird? Let's see. Where's our other one? The other one we put pretty pretty high up. I'm going to put this one down pretty low. Hopefully you guys are cool with that. So uh, let's get some dimensionals and we're going to pop this on. Let me see. I wonder if I could, no, I do want dimensionals in here, right here. And we're going to pop this on right here. I'm going to go up just a little bit. Center it right there on that main panel. And we're going to add some, ha, huh, guess what? <laughs> we're going to add an embellishment. I love this paper too, Monique. It is just, isn't it just so beautiful? Oh, so pretty. All right. So now you know when you cut this one up for cards, you can save this part to do some cool embossing to embellish your cards with because it embosses like a dream. Look how cool that is. All right. So last time we used a new embellishment. Stalling because I got to get it out of my drawer. Um, for this. Oh, ow. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness, I just hit my head on my computer. <clears throat> I'm okay. It's all it's all good. On this card for the embellishment, we used the new heart pearls. So these are the heart pearls. Um, they come three ways. You get kind of a milky white, you get a shimmery pearl, and then you get a, a, another white one that has, um, it's a milky white, but it's not matte like this milky white. It's a bit shiny. I've really got that zoomed up. So sorry about that. So we could use the heart pearls. They've got little teeny tiny hearts and they've got bigger hearts. Or we could use standard pearls, good old basic pearls. Or we could use the new iridescent pearls. Mm, those have a little bit of a blue to them. Shimmery thing. So put heart or for iridescent, that's too hard to type. So put I if you want iridescent, I for iridescent, P for pearl, and H for heart. Is that too complicated? <laughs> it's kind of complicated. So the heart pearls, I for iridescent, or P for regular pearls. Let me know how we should decorate our card here, which one we should choose. So many good options, right? And while you do that, I am going to grab a little fern out of here. Oh, I'm seeing a lot of eyes. I think that's a good choice because the eye has kind of a little bit of a bluish shimmer in that iridescent. Um, I'm not saying that very well, but there's like an iridescent sheen and it is a little bit bluish. So, all right, we're going to go with the iridescent pearls. All right, you guys are all on the same page pretty much with that one. There's some a few votes for the regular pearls, which is always a good choice too, right? So I'm going to grab my take your pick tool and I'm going to just remove this. Oh, so pretty. 
so pretty and I'm gonna pop those right there really nice you see how it just kind of it's almost like a little purpley blue here and it just picks up on that color because of that iridescent good choice guys I like it um, now this card we had to add a white panel inside because it was a dark card base but since we went with the white we don't need to do that but I would like to do just a little bit of stamping in there because we can right well let's see on this messy desk aha we found a grid paper it's been used before but hey that's okay I don't mind I'll use it again all right so i'm gonna grab my good old knight of navy ink pad now this paper does also have other blues in it but predominantly there is a lot of knight of navy so uh, that is my favorite one to use with this um, paper typically unless i use the side that has the gray granite and then i use the gray granite ink so i just have a little bit of fern action going on the inside you know what? I think we need another second one. Just peeking in here at the edge. And oh, what the heck? You should always do things in threes, right? <laughs> we'll have one more coming across the bottom. Get a little fern action there on the inside, and we can write a little note. But I don't think that we need any bits and pieces. In the last card, we used some of the dies and stamps to decorate and have things coming out. But I don't know that we need that with this because of that pretty fern embossing. It seems to me like it would just sort of cover that up. Do you know what I mean? I can grab one here and we can see what we think. I mean, it wouldn't be bad. It would be, a, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we add some little bits and pieces? I don't actually, now that I put it on there, I think it looks good. Um, so we could add some of these little frondy deals. <laughs> frondy deals. Okay, that was that was weird i just made that up <laughs> so we could add some of these pieces these by the way came from this wreath i like to cut the big wreath and then cut it all apart and use it on a lot of parts uh, most people say it's good as it is so that you know it that would certainly be an option if you were doing this card and uh, you wanted to add some little sprigs coming out you totally could do that um, but it's also just really striking that way. So we're going to, the, the, uh, the majority, uh, says no. So we're going to go without, but I agree. There are a couple of you that say yes, add, and I, I, I think that would also be a good choice. So, uh, I don't think there's a wrong answer on that one. So, wow, that was a really quick and easy card. That's what I love about this fold. It's a fun fold. But it's super easy so and uh, it just has that little bit of dimension because the one side is popped up with dimensionals and so it gives it a nice shadow effect so i'm going to flip my camera around here yay <laughs> thanks so much for joining me thanks for your input on the card i think we i think we did a good job we came up with some fun ideas. Now I'm going to be sending this one still coming out as a project sheet this week. I will get to it, but I, afternoon needs to get done first. So this will be coming out in the project sheet and I'll uh, pop a photo of this one in too, so that you can, you know, if you can choose which one, the measurements are all the same, all of that stuff. So uh, thank you all for joining me. One quick reminder, Crafternoon uh, blog post will be going up very soon with pictures of all the cards and the ability to purchase the tutorial bundle if you would like to. Uh, you can sign up for that at suestanfield.com. Click, click, click on subscribe and you can choose if you want the project sheets and subscribe to those. If you want the uh, notification when the blog post goes up with the Crafternoon tutorial, you can click on that. You can click on both of them. Um, if you would like me to send you a packet in the mail, I would love to do that for next month's Fun Fold card going to be awesome. Uh, and so if you want to take part in that, just place a $50 order in my online store and uh, you're in for craft noon and it's $50 before tax or shipping. So, so many fun things to choose, right? 
And just a reminder that if you have a lot of things on your wish list, your best deal is the starter kit. You're going to get all that in color stuff for free, plus $125 of product of your choice, but you only paid $99 for that product plus tax and the shipping is free. If you have any questions about that, feel free to email me right here, susan at suestamfield.com. Have a great night, everyone. And I look forward to seeing you all very soon on our next video. Bye-bye.